Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today we're starting a new segment called Closer Look. So what that means is that once a week I'll be giving you a closer look at a product. It could be a bag, it could be jewelry, it could be shoes. But today we're talking about the Louis Vuitton Victorine Wallet. So you're probably wondering, how is this gonna be different from a full review? Well, really, this is gonna let me show you products earlier as I see them, my first impressions, really. But it's gonna be more than a first impression because it's actually gonna show you a closer look, literally, at the product and how it's been working so far. So it's a little more in-depth, I guess you could say a fuller first impression. Before we get started, though, I wanna let you guys know that I am on Like to Know It. Like to Know It is a free app that's basically like Instagram, but everything is shown to you in chronological order. It's an app that gives you direct links to every piece of product in a picture. So if I was posting a picture today about this video, I would take a picture of myself and probably this one, probably kind of like the, uh, the still image that you see for the title video for the thumbnail. So I would link to where you can get this secondhand in the like to know what app. I'd probably link to this top. I'd probably link to the makeup that I'm wearing today and maybe the tool that I use to curl my hair. But typically, if you look on there, you'll see uh, pictures of sweater dresses, shoes, um, a good wine tool that I think everyone should have if you're a wine lover. So it's a really nice app that shows you where you can get all those products. And it's not like you have to buy everything right now. You can actually save that to a list, add it to your favorites so that when you do want it, you can go ahead and make your purchase. Or if you wanna think about it, Take that time, but at least it'll be there saved in your favorites. So that part has been really helpful to me because I'm not buying things every day. I want to take my time. I want to make sure I really want something. And just having that saved in the Like to Know It app has been really great. So go ahead and give me a follow there. I'll pop up my name on Like to Know It right here on the screen. And I'll also have a direct link in the description box down below. So this wallet I got for Christmas, it was actually an early Christmas gift. I got it probably the beginning of December from my family. And this is something I have been wanting for a very long time. I can probably find my full size wallet somewhere. So for years I was actually using a big fat, normal typical sized wallet I would say. So like this style, um, which is very big and bulky. And as I got older into uh, high school and college, I started really liking the long wallets. And this is packed even today. I've just got other like cards that I don't even use. I have a $2 bill that I should probably put somewhere nice. And this is basically just full of junk right now, but it has some important cards that I don't wanna lose. So I just keep it all here and I keep that in a desk somewhere. The reason why I wanted to switch to a smaller wallet was because I switch out my purses and I've been using a smaller purse lately, like the Gucci Soho Disco bag. This just wasn't going to be ideal. For a few years after this wallet, I switched to the Louis Vuitton coin pouch. So this was something I just attached to my keys. I always had it with me. I didn't always have to bring a purse, but I used this for about two or three years and I just wanted something different. So then that's when I got this for Christmas. And just some quick general thoughts, having a smaller wallet is so much more ideal because you can easily just pick it up and move it to whichever purse you're using, big or small. I don't know if this would actually fit in a clutch. I don't have one. I don't really have a need for one. So let's talk about the wallet first in general. I love the pink ballerine color. That is something I love with the Louis Vuitton print. I think it matches perfectly with the Louis Vuitton color. It has two sections to hold your cards and there's even a little spot underneath of each section. And right now I don't have anything in there, but I used to carry a gift card that I had in there. One of the first things you're gonna notice when you get this wallet is that the card slots are a little tight. So when I first started using this, it was actually pretty difficult to get the cards in and out of the slots, but now it's become so much easier. But let me tell you, it was just kind of weird just to stand there struggling to get my card out of this fancy wallet. But we're past that phase and it only took a few, I don't know if I wanna say a few weeks or purchases because I definitely wasn't shopping every day so I wasn't reaching into my wallet every day. So it just takes some time. One thing I really like is that the slot to hold your dollar bills is huge and I just love that it's so easy to get in and out of. So there's no need to like squeeze your hand in there and grab the money that you need. You, it's, it's just very open and very spacious. Another thing I like is that there is a coin pouch. 
So if you unzip this open and the zipper, very, very smooth. So I don't use cash a ton, but I've been trying to keep quarters and pennies with me at all times, just because if I'm going out to places and I see a penny presser, I have to have one. I love pressed pennies. I've had them since I was little from Disneyland, and I just kind of continued collecting them as I've grown up. So right now I have a bunch of quarters and a few pennies. So I'm ready to go whenever I see a penny presser. One option you can get is a little like stamp um, of your initials in like a foil color. So I have that done once when I got my first Louis Vuitton bag and it's actually the only bag I have. They definitely messed up. So I did it online. I ordered it online. It was delivered to my house when I was in college and it was just poorly done. Like they did it the first time. Like you could see that they did it twice. I, so I never ever get those imprints done. Also, because, because I don't want them to make a mistake and then I'll have to wait for a new one again. Or what if I want to resell a bag and then I can't because it has my initials on it. Like it's mine forever, which I would want it to be mine forever, but you never know. One thing I've seen on resale websites for designer items is that the button on these wallets will start to fade or discolor. So one thing I'm making sure of to make it last as long as possible is to not scratch the button so that the paint doesn't chip off and to just be very careful with what I have on my fingertips while touching my wallet. So I'm very aware and I'm like that with my bag too. I was like that with my little coin pouch. So overall, I'm very, very pleased with the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. I think it is a great purchase. It is pricey for a wallet, but when you compare it to a bag or even their shoes or anything like that, it is just a lot cheaper. One thing I can't get over is belt. I will never pay that much for a belt that is just like this big, like it's just, it's small. Like I, I just don't understand that even though I do like them, I just don't think I can bring myself to spend that much on a little piece of leather or canvas. So that does it for this closer look segment of the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. I put out videos at least once a week, but I'm hoping now that'll be different because I'm hoping to put this out also once a week. Well, not this, but the closer look segment. As long as I have something that I know is still available for you to get your hands on, I will definitely put out a video on that. So I'm hoping to keep these videos short so that way it's a quick spot for you to kind of get all the details on a product because you can see product reviews or unboxings but you really need that first look with a little bit more information and if there is something specific that you want me to do a first look on just let me know i might have that product or i might be able to go out and get it easily all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye